hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to see three things one is how to do output redirection we will use greater than symbol for that purpose we will also see examples of the pipe operator and we also want to see the command t and we will see a comparison also specifically the greater than symbol and the command t okay so let's see some examples first i'm going to run a very simple command such as ls command with the hyphen l operator or option that means uh, i want to see long list of the contents of the current directory so you see the output here now i use the greater than sign here and specify a file name such as this directory under the temp directory i want a file to be named listing this file does not exist there already we can check it so how we check it use the ls command and it you can see here no such file or directory so this file does not already exist now i do the same thing again but a little bit differently we want to capture the output and want to save it into this file so you see when we ran this command here we had the output shown here now this time the output from the same command ls command has been redirected into this file how do we verify let's first verify if the file now exists or not you see the file is there now let's see some contents if there are any the contents are there so we have actually saved the output from the command we ran here uh, and the output is in the file we specified uh, good enough because this is helpful I will show you some examples you want to perform some activities you want to see before that what processes were running or are running let's use ps command it has all the details about the processes running in the background in the foreground and I want to capture that output I can specify a file name again slash stamp slash ps dot output now all the process related information is in this file let's use the more command to see the output from the file page by page you see we begin with the header here and we have the output stored now I run another command that and we do this what do you think is going to happen now we have done the output redirection again let's see what is inside the file only the latest output is there that means whatever the dead command did that output is stored in the file but whatever we had stored earlier from that ps command right we saw this output it's not there why or how to um, you know override this behavior so let's do it again but we have now double greater than signs there what happens when you use the greater than sign single greater than sign it works in an overwrite mode if the file is not there it will be created and if the file is there it will be overwritten too but when you use double greater than sites then appending mode will be enabled so whatever is there it will remain there at the end of the file the new contents will be 
return now you see the latest output from the data command is also there and whatever we had earlier it is also there we can see another example like this now use the more command and verify you see both the lines both the lines are there which we had earlier from the date commands one by one now we also have the output from the ps command you got it i hope now let's see some examples of the pipe operator we have seen this command i give the output to another command that is the purpose of the pipe operator we can combine multiple commands together i use grep command here and ask it to look for only those lines that begin with the letter d we can see clearly here that this should be in the final output now and yes that is the case because only this line has the letter d at the beginning so now we have two commands here club together or we can also say somehow we are filtering out the data now i can again hand over the latest output to some another command for example i can type here tr and say whatever is there in a small case make it upper case you got it you can see the difference now so we can combine multiple commands with the help of the pipe operator you can use any other command let's say oak now we have extracted the file name or the directory name only with the help of this command so first we listed out all the items in the current directory we filtered those you know lines and uh, we got only the directories and we you know filtered out other files regular files and with the help of the a command we are now having only the file name there or the directory name so we have one two three commands here all clubbed together with the help of the pipe operator so you see the difference now finally we are here to learn the t command so t command works almost in a similar way the redirection operator greater than symbol does let's see some examples we have the command ls hyphen l and we use the d command here with the help of the pipe operator but t command on its own is meaningless let's see an example the output is shown on the screen ls hyphen l tr and there is nothing new no new file has been created now let's make it meaningful so directory list this is the file name output is on the screen and whatever file name we provided here you can see it here also but the size is zero because first the file was created which we specified here with the command t and later on the output was shown which we captured in this file so if the size is zero the file has nothing but that's not true let's run the ls command again you 
can see the file certainly has something inside it and what has it got we can see the output from the ls command so t command creates the file we specify at the same time we can see the output on the screen but if we use only the greater than symbol like this we don't see the output on the screen we have everything in the specified file so that's the difference so i hope that you got the concepts clear now and uh, thank you for watching bye bye